Hello, this is Lisa from Happy Stamp, and today we are going to be doing the Incredible Like You Project Kit. <clears throat> I'm not going to be doing the whole kit, but I am going to be doing one card from each kit. So you're going to need the kit. Um, the other items that you're going to need to finish are the Incredible Like You Photopolymer Set, some lovely lipstick, and Coastal Cabana. And there are other colors in here if you so choose to use them. Totally up to you. All right, so. What you're gonna get in the kit. <clears throat> you're gonna get some Coastal Cabana, no not Coastal Band, uh, Calypso Coral, Baker's Twine, um, some rhinestones. You're going to get a nice um, case. It's like the case that our um, framelits come in. It's made out of the same material. You're going to get that to put your cards in when you're done. Some dimensionals. You're going to get all of your envelopes. Now this card makes 16 kits, four of each design. So here is one of the, the stencils. It's really pretty. And then we're going to have some, I believe this is Lucky Limeade Glimmer Paper. This is awesome. Um, another set of laser die cutting. <clears throat> and then you're going to get all of your card fronts. So you're going to get four of each of these. Here's this one. Here's another one of the die, laser die cuts. You're going to get this one and this one and some more pretty die cuts. You're going to get this one and then you're going to get this one. You're going to get some labels. Get some labels here. You're going to get some um, die cutting with the sparkly Lucky Limeade. And these look like they are little leaves here. And these are banners. And then you're going to get all of your banners to stamp your... You're going to get your banners to stamp your sentiments and then of course the instructions. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take one of each of these because I'm going to only make one with you. No sense of you watching me make four of each card. I'm sure after one you'll get it. All right here. <clears throat> So here's the project kit guide and basically you're just going to follow the picture instructions on each card. All right, so I already have my um, Stamparatus set up with each one of the sayings where I want them so that I have one here flip it over, I have one here, I have one here, flip it over, and I have one here. So I have them all ready to go. So I, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to stamp all of my sentiments. So I'm going to use this little die cut first. And I have found that, because um, I did stamp a couple of these beforehand, that it is best to use the Stamparatus because you're going to need to stamp um, multiple times on the sheets, or at least I did, and I did, re and I did re-ink my um, ink pads. But this paper is not exactly whisper white to me, anyway. Um, so you do need to stamp it a couple of times. So. Stamp it one more time. All right, 
right, so that one's good. So it's, hope your day is as amazing is as amazing as you. All right, so let me wipe this off. And then I'm going to pull this up and I'm going to flip it over. And then the I Simply Adore You is going to be in the lovely lipstick. And that, or I Just Adore You, is going to go on the round one. time all right that looks good so let me get my chamois here this is this simply chamois and I've just cut it in half so it's easier to handle all right so that one's done so this one's done so I'm going to bring in my other plate, and this one is incredible, incredibly proud of you, and that's going to go on one of these. And some more lovely lipstick ink here. And then that is all the stamping that you're going to need to do on these cards after you get your sentiment stamped. Okay, the next one is going to go on the square one. And let's wipe this off again. And we're going to flip that over. And this time with the lovely lipstick, or I mean the Coastal Cabana. So glad we are friends. So like I said, that is all the stamping that we are going to need to do. Put this away. All right. So let's look at card number one here. We're going to need the green card base. And we'll use our bone folder to make sure we get a good crease. Now this is going to come, like I said, with all of your adhesive that you're going to need. But if you don't want to use the adhesive that it comes with, you can use your own adhesive, which I'm going to use my snail. Um, we're going to need one of these die cuts, a piece of the glimmer paper, and it does come with some glue dots, but I'm not seeing mine right at the moment. The easiest way that I have found to adhere glimmer paper to paper is with glue dots. So I'm just going to put a glue dot in each corner. Right 
right on the glimmer paper. And then this is going to go right on top. And it looks like it may have a right side and a wrong side. Um, I can see on this side, it's got a little bit of um, like a crumb cake maybe in the laser etching. So I'm going to put that side up. All right, there we go. Then we're going to take one of the round or oval, I guess it is, die cuts right here. And that's going to go right in the middle. I know I'll find my glue dots that come with this as soon as I... I guess it's both the same. Either halfway through or... <clears throat> when I get done. Okay, so this one's going to get the incredibly proud of you. And that's going to go right in here. It looks like that is adhered with some dimensionals. So let's take a couple of dimensionals and you're going to get plenty of dimensionals it looks like. That's going to go right in the middle here. All right. Then you're going to take some of your twine here and it says on here you're going to need 12 inches so let's get out some grid other uh, grid paper that has some a ruler on it this one doesn't have a ruler on it but it's awful pretty <clears throat> Take this and we will measure out 12 inches and we're going to give this a cut then we're going to make a bow And this looks like it's a fairly good sized bow here with some good sized tails on it. So we'll take this and find my glue dots and I'm going to put this on with a glue dot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fold a glue dot in half. I'm going to lay it right here where I want it. And then I'm going to put this right here. Right like that. And I'm going to take this. <clears throat> I'm going to use my snail. It's going to go right on the front of the card here. Just like that. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take my ribbon scissors and I'm just going to give these a little trim just like that. All right. So see how fast and simple these are? Awesome. Okay, let's do card number two. That looks like it's going to be one of the Calypso Coral card bases. Got a good crease with your bone folder. Um, looks like we're going to need this one. And again, I'm going to make sure I put it on the correct side. 
Um, I'm going to use my liquid glue for this because I'm not going to put it all over. I'm just going to make sure that there's enough. This glue is good glue. It's with this a little amount, it's not going to go anywhere. But you could certainly use your glue dots. And so we're going to have to figure out, looks like it goes like this, because it looks like it goes right over. So the, it looks like these are lemons, limes, and tangerines or oranges. But with the glue, you're going to be able to wiggle it to get it right into the spot there. All right, so there's that one. Then I'm going to need one of these Daffodil Delight banners. I'm going to need a, let's see, one of the smaller banners for this one. I'm going to need the I Just Adore You. We're going to need 20 inches of the baker's twine here. So let's cut off 20 inches, 16, and then four. Look, Mom, I know how to count. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> I need 20 inches of that. All right, so we're going to take this and it looks like the baker's twine is on the top of that. So what we'll do is we're just going to take our baker's twine and we're just going to kind of loop it around our fingers here and then put it on here. Let's get it a little better than that here. So I'm going to take three fingers. And to make sure that it's spread out just a tad. Okay, then I'm going to take my, it looks like I'm going to take my banner there and I'm going to use a couple of dimensionals to hold this down. So let's put a couple of dimensionals on here. right over the top of the baker's twine. And I'm going to put another one in the middle. Okay. I think I'm going to take a couple of the glue dots I'm going to put the glue dots right underneath <clears throat> where it's not really holding, the dimensional's not sticking. I'm going to put it right under there. Okay, and I'm going to do it right on the other side. That way it's not going to go anywhere. All right, and then this can go on top of here. and all of this sparkly goodness here. Okay, and then the I Just Adore You. I'm gonna take some glue dots because like I said, I find that they work best on the glimmer paper. I'm just going to take three and put them right across the middle and then that's going to go right on here, right there. All right, then this can be adhered with your snail, your glue, your glue dots, whatever you want to use and that's going to go right here. And then you can take some scissors or your pokey tool 
and just kind of kind of fluff this out a little bit so you can see more of the baker's twine. All right, there we go. All right, so there is card number two. All right. All right, let's do the one with the blue. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so we're gonna do, fold this in half. Good crease with our bone folder. We're going to use the laser die cut with the um, flowers on it. And that's gonna go right on here. So what I'm gonna do with this, is I'm just gonna take my adhesive and this one I'm gonna put right down the center. I'm gonna stick that on top. Right. Then I'm going to take the bigger banner. There we go. With some more glue dots. And that's going to go right in the middle here. I'm going to take the Hope your day is, 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 as, is, is as amazing as you. Let's put some glue dots down here. They sure did give you plenty of adhesive, that's for sure. That's one thing about Stampin' Up! They do not scrimp on the supplies, that's for sure. All right, so we're going to take this and put this right in the middle here. Okay, then I'm going to take the Baker's Twine again, and we need another 12 inches. my loops are somewhat the same. I'm going to take my glue dots again. Fold one in half. I'm going to put it right here. Put my bow right here. Now this one looks like it doesn't have quite as much tail hanging off, so there we go. And then we're going to take our rhinestones that we got. And it looks, looks like I have two rhinestones here. And one goes here, and one goes up here. Usually you follow the order of threes, but I only see two on this one. So I will save that until the end, and if I have enough, I think I'll put another one down here. Um, actually, I will have enough because I have more, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Um, you're going to only want to put two on yours until you find out if you have enough. And um, I like to follow the rule of threes, uneven. But I really like this one. This one's very pretty. All right, last card. So glad we are friends. All right, so we're going to need 
this background here. That. And we're going to need the trellis like die cut. And again, I'm going to use some of my multi purpose glue. And that is going to go right in the middle. There we go. All right, now this one, we're going to need some of the pretty green foliage. So I'm going to need one of those. One of the other ones. So there's two kinds. There's one that's not cut out and one that is. Could save those use them on something else. So we'll put one of these over here, one over here, and then we're going to need two more of the solid ones, it looks like. And one more of the cutout ones. Almost done. Okay. So we'll put those down here. Can you guys hear the wind? We're having, um, we have a high wind warning out right now because it is like major, major windy. All right, so now we're going to need 15 inches of the Baker's Twine. And you do want to make sure you kind of stick with your measurements because you want to make sure that you have enough for each one of your other cards because I'm only making one of each right now. This just looks like it goes back and forth a couple of times. Right over the top. <clears throat> so however you can get it to lay, just go ahead and set it down there. And then what I'm going to do, I do believe, Okay, I'm going to put some glue dots over the top. Where did my glue dots go? Not glue dots, dimensionals. I'm going to put some dimensionals over the top just to get them to stay where I want them. I can add more glue. Um, after I get them on there. Let's see, but I want to make sure that I add my dimensionals underneath my sentiment here. So you kind of want to figure out where they're going to go. I'm going to stick one more down here. And then 
this is going to go right on top, just like that. Now, you could always take your dimensionals here. I'm going to take the top off. Take my and you could use scotch tape too. If you don't want to use up all your dimensionals, I have more dimensionals. Put that there. And I think that's good. I'm going to cut this tail off just a tad. But you could always, that's probably what I would recommend is to use um, scotch tape. That's why I'm doing this, <laughs> so that y'all know. But it's not going anywhere. Definitely not. All right, now we're going to take our little flowers. It looks like we have three of the little flowers. Okay. And this one goes down here, and I will use a dimensional for this one. I think I'm going to use one of my mini dimensionals, actually. For this one. And that's going to go down here. And then these two... You can just use your snail or your glue, either one. Glue dots, you can use your glue dots. And we'll put one here and one here. And then we're going to get some rhinestones. And we're going to put those in the middle. Right. so there you have it those are all of the one of each one of the cards that you're going to get in the kit I like them they're really easy to put together but they're really really pretty I think they're really pretty so there you have it okay now hopefully I have a new editing thing on my tablet, um, so I'm going to try and put some words up, but if it doesn't work, um, it's because I couldn't figure it out, but I'm going to try. Um, but I just wanted to let you know in case there was something funky on there that um, I'm, I'm working on trying to figure out this program here. <laughs> so um, this uh, kit is available for purchase, of course, along with everything else. Um, so if you want to order it, please go to my website, www.happystamp.stampinup.net. Please hit that subscribe button. Um, if you'd like to see, make sure you see more videos from me, I would appreciate that. And then also the like button that, um, that would be very much appreciated. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below. I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks a lot and have a great day. Bye.